Beef Wellington was named after Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington, who defeated Napoleon at Waterloo in 1815. He loved this dish. First, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Clean and finely dice half a pound of mushrooms. Then, in a large nonstick skillet, heat two tablespoons of Bertoli extra virgin olive oil. Cook the mushrooms until tender. Add three tablespoons of red wine and cook for another two to three minutes or until the liquid is absorbed. Chop up three tablespoons of green onions and add to the mushrooms. Next, add a quarter teaspoon of thyme, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of pepper. Remove the mushrooms from the skillet and let them cool thoroughly. Now, heat up the same skillet over medium-high heat until hot. Season your filet mignons heavily with salt and pepper. Make sure to hit both sides. Next, place the filets in a hot skillet and sear for three minutes, turning once. You will not be cooking the filets all the way through at this point. You're just searing the outside. Now, on a flat surface, lay out the phyllo dough. Butter each sheet thoroughly with melted butter and then stack them on top of each other. You will need six sheets of dough, cut into quarters, for each wellington. Place about two tablespoons of mushroom mixture in the center of each portion. Spread the mixture to the diameter of each steak. Place the steaks on the mushroom mixture and then top the filet with more mushrooms. Bring together all four corners of the dough and twist tightly to close. Then, lightly butter the outside and place them on a greased baking tray. Bake them in a 425 degree oven for nine to 10 minutes or until golden brown. Let them rest for five minutes. These beef wellingtons make you feel like a duke or duchess. They are succulent and perfectly portioned for individual presentation. Go to holidaykitchen.tv for a cornucopia of delicious video recipes.